Okay, so this is the beginning of the June 2005 MEI C3 paper. So, question one. Solve the equation mod 3x plus 2 equals 1. So, we've got to consider, so there's, there's two branches to a, a mod graph. We've got to consider the positive and the negative. So first of all we've got the positive case so 3x equals minus 1 so x equals minus a third or we've got minus 3x plus 2 equals 1 so we've got minus 3x minus 2 equals 1 so minus 3x equals 3 so x is minus 1. So our answer is x equals minus a third or minus 1. OK, so question 2. Given that arc sine x equals o by 6, um, so x equals the sine pi by 6, um, which I can either use with my calculator or I know that um, there's pi by 6 in this triangle, 2, 2, 1. Um, so sine of pi by 6 is a half, or I can just use my calculator to do that. So so our cos of x equals our cos half which equals uh, again using either this triangle otherwise it's pi by 3 question 3 f of x is 1x and g of x is cubed when x is bigger than zero. f of g of x equals f of x cubed equals ln x cubed equals 3 ln x um, and this is um, to get from ln x this is a stretch in the y direction Three. So it's three lots of an X. Okay. Question four. T equals thirty plus twenty e to the minus naught point naught five T zero. Write down the initial temperature of the liquid. So when t equals zero, t equals thirty plus twenty e to the five times zero. So that's zero. So that's e to the um, e to the zero, which is one. So we've got thirty plus twenty. 
Celsius 50. So that's the initial temperature. And find the initial rate of change of the temperature. Um, so we're after dt by dt equals, well, the first First bit's going to differentiate to zero, and then we've got 20 times the differential of the inside, so that's just minus 0 0.05 e differential of the outside, e just keeps it the same. Okay, and when t equals 0, dt by dt equals 20 times 5 times 1, um, which I think that's 20 times the 20th, so I think that's minus 1, but times minus 1. So that's the initial rate. Um, and then, then it says um, find the time at which the temperature is 40 degrees. So we're looking for when 40 equals 30 plus 20 e to the minus 0 0.05 so a little bit of rearranging, we've got 10 equals 20 e to the minus 0.05t. So we've got a half equals e to the minus 0.05t. We then learn both sides. Learn a half equals 5t. So t equals learn a half divided by minus 0.05. Okay, uh, using the substitution u equals 2x plus 1, so they've been nice and told us what we've got to do. We've got to integrate between 0 and 1 x over 2x plus 1 dx. So we know that du by dx equals 2. So we know that dx equals du over 2. So we've got um, and we can rearrange that to get that Um, x also equals u minus 1 over 2. So we've got the integral of uh, u minus 1 over 2 times 1 over u, dx is du over 2. Hopefully that's a little easier. Um, when x is zero, u is one. When x is one, u is three. So we've got the integral. Let's take the quarter outside. A quarter. 
got u minus 1 over u du 1 and 3 is let's go one more bit of simplifying is 1 minus u to the minus 1 to u in 1 and 3 equals a quarter and now we can actually do some integrating u and we're going to integrate uh, u to the minus 1 um, we get minus ln u 1 and 3 so we get um, a quarter. I'm going to put three in first of all. Three minus ln three minus one minus ln one equals a quarter. Two and three and one and one is zero. So this is just uh, as we are after a quarter. Two minus and three. Question six. So y equals over two plus three len x. So we're going to, have to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is the bottom times the top differentiated which is 1 minus the top times the bottom differentiated which is 2 goes to nothing 3 times 1 over x all over the bottom squared 2 plus 3 then x squared so that's 2 plus 3 then x minus the x is cancel 3 2 plus 3 squared which is 3 and x minus 1, 2 plus 3 ln x squared. Hence find the exact coordinates of the stationary point. So when dy by dx equals 0, we just got the top bit equaling to 0, so we have 0 equals 3 ln so ln x equals a third, so x equals e to the third, um, which is, that's our answer in exact form. Um, and so we want the coordinates, so y equals e to the third, over 2 plus 3 ln e to the third ln e to the third is just a third so we've got e to the third 2 plus 3 times a third that looks like 1 is a third e to the third so our coordinates are 
x is e to the third is a third e to the third. There we go. Question seven. So we've got y squared plus y equals x cubed plus two. a little sketch. Let's just do that out. This little thing, I've got a little line here. X equals 2. And we're first of all we want to find where they intersect. So we've got y squared plus y. Well when x is 2 that's 2 cubed plus 2 times 2. So we've got y squared plus y equals 8 plus 4 is 12 y squared plus y minus 12 equals 0. A little bit of factorising here. y plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. So y equals 3 or minus 4, which kind of fits with my diagram. Um, do you want coordinates or just coordinates? So x, oh, and x equals 2. So coordinates. find your other dx and then the gradient at each of these two points in terms of x and y. So um, we're going to differentiate this side. Um, so we're going to do differentiate with respect to y. So we get 2y plus 1 times 2y by dx. 3x squared plus 2, so 2y by dx equals 3x squared plus 2 divided by 2y plus 1. So um, Which is twelve, fourteen, fourteen over seven, which is two, and then at two minus four, two by the x equals. Seven then we've got minus two. There we go. Okay, question eight. This point Q there and point P there, um, and we know that <coughs> cos x sine three x the point on the curve will get squared. So that is. Six. 
find the x coordinate of p. So for y zero, so we've got zero equals x three x. So square three x zero. Um, um, so. Well, it either equals zero or the first one. Um, the next time it equals zero is pi. Because if we just look at the normal sine curve, it does that. So that's zero pi, two pi, uh, which means x equals pi by three. So that there is pi by three. Okay, so that's part one. Part two. Uh, show that Q lies on the line Y equals X. Um, so the Y coordinate equals pi by six sine three times pi by six which equals pi by 6 sine pi by 2, pi by 2 is 1, so that's pi by 6, therefore uh, q is pi by 6, pi by 6, Therefore, on y equals x. Okay, I'm going to do differentiate up here. So this is x times sine three x. So divided by dx is the first times the differential of the second. So the differential of the second. Um, is 3 cos 3x by the chain rule um, plus the differential of the first is 1 times sine 3x. And hence prove the line touches the curve at q. So we want to show that as gradient 1. So when x equals pi by 6 y by dx equals pi by 6 times 3 times cos of 3 pi by 6 plus sine 3 pi by 6. So that's pi by 2. Cos of pi by 2, cos of pi by 2 is 0, plus sine of pi by 2 is 1, so divided by dx equals 1. Hence, touches y equals x at q. Okay, and then we're after showing that the region bounded by the curve y equals x So maybe let's just draw it again So we've got this OK, 
Okay, so we've got this region here. Um, well, we know that that's pi by 6. So if we integrate the curve, we get this bit here. And then we can take that away from the triangle and get the area of the that we want, which is this bit in here. Okay, so the shaded region, first of all. Equals the integral between 0 and pi by 6 of x sine 3x dx. So that is um, integration by parts. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to want to differentiate the x. So um, so we're going to go x um, and then we're going to integrate this one so that's a third cos 3x if we differentiate cos get minus sine minus integral of derivative of the first which is 1 got that third cos 3x that makes this positive dx between 0 and pi by 6. So should we put this in? So we've got minus pi by 6 times a third times cos of pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0 and the other one's 0. integral of this, so we get a ninth sine 3x zero pi by 6 sine of 0 is 0 so we get a ninth um, of sine which is just a ninth. So that's the shaded region. So the area we want required equals um, the area of the triangle, which is a half pi by 6 by pi by 6 minus a ninth, which is pi squared over 72 minus a ninth, which if I take a 72 out as a factor, uh, is pi squared minus 8. Okay, question 9. f of x equals ln 1 plus x squared and has domain minus 3, 3. Show algebraically that the function is even, so we want to show that um, f of minus x equals f of x, so f of minus x equals ln one plus minus x squared, which equals ln one plus x squared, which equals f of x. Hence, 
even. This is a line of symmetry. Um, okay, part two. Find the gradient of the curve at the point P. Gradient, so F dash to FX equals it's a chain rule, so Differentiate the inside, so 0 plus 2x times the differential on the outside, learn differentiates to 1 over, so 1 over 1 plus x squared, so find it a bit neater, 2x over 1 plus x squared. When x equals 2, Fifths. Explain why it doesn't have an inverse function. It is a. Let's get this the right way around. Many to one function. One function. Three and to have an inverse must be one two one. There we go. Okay. Um, domain is now restricted. F of x still equals ln plus x squared. But we're now just dealing with that. And the inverse of x of x is g of x. So, um, same with that. equals 1 plus y squared e to the x minus 1 equals y squared so y equals um, the square root of e to the x minus 1 so that's g of x equals the square root Minus one. Um, and we've got to sketch these, so we've got to sketch them both. So we've got. So this is g of x, this is f of x. Um, and the domain of g 
of x is the output of f of x um, and the maximum that can be is ln 10 starts at 0 so ln 10 Okay, and then plot five. Differentiate g of x. Let's verify. So g prime of x equals. Okay, so we're going to do this to say it's a half. So say half e to the x minus one to the minus a half times the differential of the inside, which is just e to the x. Um, so g primed of ln 5 equals the half e to the ln 5 minus 1 to the minus a half e to the ln 5, which equals a half, 5 minus 1 to the minus a half, times 5, which is a half, 4 to the minus a half, so that's times another half, times 5, which equals 5 over 4, as required. Uh, explain the connection between this result and the result of uh, part two. Well, as a connection in y equals x.